friends this video on oscillations part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4 before going ahead with part 5 let us now study what is simple harmonic motion as i already told simple harmonic motion is also an oscillatory motion it is basically the simplest form of oscillatory motion. So how do we know that a particular oscillatory motion is simple harmonic? If we again take the example of the simple pendulum or that mass connected to the string, we say that a motion is simple harmonic which is often known as SHM, that is simple harmonic motion, when the force on the oscillating body is directly proportional to its displacement from the mean position. At the very beginning of this chapter, I explained you what is mean position or equilibrium position of this particular mass. So there is a force which always acts on this oscillating object which tries to bring this object to its mean position. So if you leave this object to itself, it will swing for some time and then finally it will come back to rest at its mean position. So when this force which acts on this oscillating body is directly proportional to the displacement, then that kind of motion is known as SHM. That is this object, for example, you consider this object. So this mass, is getting displaced from this position to this position, right? And this is its mean position. So now the force which is acting on this particular mass will always try to bring it back to its mean position, that is the equilibrium position. Now, and this force is proportional to the displacement, that is the amount of travel which it is going through to, till its extreme end it is proportional to that displacement. So when force is proportional to displacement, then we say that the motion is simple harmonic. Now at any point in, during this motion, this force is directed towards the mean position. Right? So that means the force, this force will always try that the object goes back to its mean position. Now, how do we denote or how do we represent displacement in case of simple harmonic motion? I have already told you how is displacement represented in case of any oscillatory motion in general. Now, let us look at this case of simple harmonic motion. Let us suppose this is the mean position of any oscillating object. So, how does the motion take place? The object goes to this extreme end it again comes back and goes to this extreme end. So these two ends are often referred to as extreme positions. So these are the two extreme positions and this is the main position. Right? So how do we denote displacement in case of simple harmonic motion? It is very similar to oscillation. So here we say that x of t, that is the displacement which is a function of time, that is it varies with time, is equal to a cos omega t plus phi. There also I told you that this was the same similar form, this was of the similar form, because I told displacement in case of an oscillation is always represented by a function which is periodic with time. So therefore there also we had, I had already explained to you why was this taken as a cosine function because it is periodic with time. Now let us understand what are each of these terms. So what is this A? This A is nothing but amplitude of the simple harmonic motion. What is this omega t plus phi? Omega t plus phi is nothing but phase of SHM. Now I will, don't worry about what is amplitude and what is phase. In the next slides, I'll explain you what is amplitude, what is phase, and each of these terms in detail. Right now, I'm just telling you what are each of what does each of these terms represent. Now, what is omega? Omega is nothing but angular frequency that you already know. And what is phi? 
phi is phase constant. So these are so these are three new terms which we are going across now. One is amplitude, one is phase, and the other one is phase constant. So now in our next slides, we will talk about each of them. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thank you once again.